But for many families in Colorado, buying gifts for the kids is just not feasible this time of year. What well, Precious Child is allowing you to make that possible for Colorado families in need. Courtney, it's so awesome to see you. And I want to start by checking in with you guys. How have you been through the pandemic? How have the needs of the public con uh, continued to be met? How are you guys doing? We're, we're hanging in there. As most people know, the needs in the community have just increased tenfold during the pandemic. But the cool thing about a precious child is that we've been able to be there every step of the way, helping meet the needs of our families and really working alongside them to feel and see what their needs are. Just last year alone, we were able to serve more than 57,000 children and more than 20,000 adult caregivers. And the increase that we saw, especially with our case management services, we saw more than a 1600% increase just in our case management services alone because so many families needed that additional support. Wow, that is huge. And that's just so amazing that they had you to turn to. So I'm so happy that you guys have really persevered through this entire thing. Now, the holidays are, of course, coming up. Why is this maybe a tougher time for Colorado families and a time that they may need you more? People are still struggling uh, with the after effects of the pandemic. We're still in it. And so a lot of the families that we're serving um, are still very much in need. We never want a child to feel less than or they that they aren't able to celebrate the holidays. And so we're just so excited to rally the troops again and um, make sure that they feel super special this holiday season. Yes, and I'm so happy you brought up rallying the troops. So what are you guys doing to help? You guys usually have some amazing events this time of year. It's so exciting. I love this time of year. It's um, we're able to really help these children in need. We collect the top three gift wishes of the children that we serve, and then we're able to connect them to donors, whether it's individuals or corporations. And so these children are actually getting gifts that they want during the holidays. We also host a ton of general toy drives as well. So people in the community can rally around and donate that way as well. But the neat thing about our programming is that we ask all of the gifts to be unwrapped. So, and then we also donate wrapping paper to the mom and dad. So mom and dad actually get to be a part of the process. They get to wrap the gift for their child and feel empowered that they are the ones providing for their child this holiday season. That's so amazing. That's so incredible. Let's talk about how we can help too. Are there ways that we can help volunteer or donate, even give money? All of the above. Um, we love to have volunteers during this time of year, but we try to make it really easy for people to get involved on any level. So if you are more comfortable um, just donating online, you can donate monetarily. We're able to really maximize any donation that we receive to make sure that gifts are getting into the cans, hands of the kiddos that need it the most. But we're also able to have Amazon uh, toy drives online so you can easily go onto Amazon and it'll ship directly to us. And then this year we're really excited to actually have a sponsorship option online. So you can go into our website, apreciouschild.org, and you can see the children that need to be sponsored and just click that little link and then you're able to get the gift for that child or you can donate monetarily that way too. Um, and then we're also at Flatiron Crossing and Orchard Town Center on their giving trees. And so if you're at the mall shopping around, you can grab a tag and sponsor a child that way too. Wow. Okay. So guys, there's no excuse not to yes. help out the holiday <laughs> season. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you know, Courtney, I, I always like to get a little bit emotional with you. Is there a story that stands out to you when you think of a precious child gift drives that, you know, kind of warms your heart every season, something to get people interested in maybe giving to? There's just so many. I, last year, especially, um, we always like to think, especially after during the pandemic, any one of us could have been in a situation where we needed to ask for help. And so we're always very intentional with how our services are delivered to our families because we want every single family to feel dignified and empowered. And just a special way that we were able to step up for a family in need, um, a grandma, uh, recently got custody of her five grandchildren. So she was wow. not expecting to have them. And so she had these five grandkids and um, we actually, she wanted them to actually speak to us. So we had our staff members actually pretend to be elves and these uh -huh. kiddos got on the phone and our staff members are, they go above and beyond. And they were so amazing. Just asking these kiddos what they wanted for Christmas. And they're like, we'll get that right to Santa. Don't you worry about it. You'll get something under the Christmas tree this year. So it's just so special um, and just so heartwarming. Cause like I said, these children are coming from some really difficult situations. And the fact that we're able to come alongside them and have them have this sense of normalcy during this uncertain time in their life is just so cool and so empowering for these kiddos.
Yeah, Courtney, and that's such an amazing story too, because like we were saying before, you know, in terms of normalcy, it just makes it so that they don't feel like there's anything wrong or anything different right now. They're just talking to Santa's Alps. They're just getting their presents ready. (laughs) Yeah, they don't know anything is different and it's just this cool thing. And we get so many pictures after the holidays of Christmas morning. And these parents are just over the moon because their kids have smiles that light up a room and there are toys under the Christmas tree. They're able to celebrate together as a family. And it's just, like I said, a sense of normalcy during such uncertain times. Oh, well, Courtney, that is just so incredible. And as always, we appreciate what you guys do so much. And hopefully we have inspired a few people at home to go ahead and find those trees at the mall to donate, to sponsor a kiddo in in need this, this holiday season. So Courtney, again, thank you for everything you guys do at A Precious Child. And it's great to see you. You too. Thanks for having me. Donate to the Precious Gift Drive and sponsor a child or drop off a gift for a family. Head to a preciouschild.org now to find out how you can make a family's holiday season this year. The Precious Gift Drive runs November 8th through December the 10th.